Hey, what's up? I'm Liz, this is DIY, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Arduino Uno Pedal Shield from Electro Smash. Now, if you can't tell by looking at it, it is uh, a guitar pedal shield for your Arduino Uno, and that's right, you plug your guitar into here, goes out to your amp here, and you can have effects that are digital uh, running through this board. Now, I think the best part about this board is that it's open hardware. That means the schematics out there, like it's, everything is open source. The code obviously is open source because it's on an Arduino and the hardware itself is also open source. And Electro Smash, I found out is a really awesome company. Like they're just really cool. Um, and I actually found out about them in the most recent issue of Make Magazine that is featuring the one, the only, the great Lady Ada on the cover. Definitely check that out if you haven't yet. So this shield is sold as a kit um, they are based in the UK, uh, but I am in the States and I had no issues getting this mailed out to me. Um, it came in a timely fashion. It said about two weeks and that's what it took. Um, and it comes with all the components, nice and neat. So it's a really nice printed PCB, um, on front and back. You can see the traces really clearly on here. And with their included schematics, like you you really have no issue of knowing what's going on on this board. Uh, you'll see there's two quarter inch connectors for in and out. Of course, the button, and it's one of those nice crunchy stomp box buttons that has a great feel to it. Uh, has a little um, pot here, trim pot here, and that kind of, for the main part in, um, the, in, in the circuit, it controls like basically the amount of the effect that you're working with. Uh, then we have two buttons that are actually connected to analog inputs on the Arduino. And as you hold them down, it will kind of act like a potentiometer and actually scroll up or down on the effect level or the effect amount or different parameters as defined in the code. Um, and then we have a toggle switch here as well. Also super nice feeling switch, um, really nice quality. And then of course the star of the show the op amp. The op amp is a TL972 op amp, uh, 8 pin as you can see. Uh, and what's cool about this chip is it only needs 5 volt power to run. That's why it works with the Arduino, because what does the Arduino need? 5 volt power, either via USB or DC. Uh, I've been running this on USB, haven't had any problem. Now let's talk about assembly. They have step-by-step -step instructions that are really great. Like they'll go through resistor by resistor, cap by cap, and it's really easy to follow along. And this was actually my first um, PCB that I populated and soldered ever. I've only ever really done like really minor soldering jobs, but I've been trying to up my skills and this was definitely a test. Um, and I did have a few components that after when I like looked at them later, like they weren't soldered great. I was able to go back, reflow the solder and after that, everything worked well. I didn't burn out any components or anything like that. So there's high quality stuff like to be able to reflow the solder and not have any issues. Not too bad, but it comes with everything, even the header pins. Um, and then it plugs right into your Arduino Uno. So let's talk about code. Obviously this needs the Arduino to be able to do anything. Otherwise it's just basically an audio pass through. Uh, the code, they have example code up on their GitHub, which I'll link down below. A huge variety of effects. We're talking Tremelo, uh, delay, distortion, fuzz, even some funky ones like an Octavio and a metronome, everything like that. So uh, really cool stuff, really cool options. And I tried them all and you're about to hear what they sound like right now. For my setup, I'm uh, going directly into the pedal board Uno that's right here on my desk. I have it on a mouse mat so that it'll kind of ground it a little bit. That's the one thing about this uh, with audio, um, the pins on the Arduino can short or get interference. So make sure that you're either like on something plastic or rubber or something that's not conductive. And then it's going directly into my amp, which is um, an Ibanez uh, practice amp, 30 watt. And I'm going through the clean channel, just a little bit of gain um, and some volume and just a, a hint, just a tasty hint of reverb. EQ's pretty standard, pretty flat. So um, here's going pass through directly to my amp uh, with the, uh, the neck pickup. And then the 
br the the bridge. <laughs> Very clean. I just want to say, like, it's really hard to get a clean pass through that's noise free on something like this. So, pretty awesome. Um, so, I think we're going to start off with uh, just the, the regular distortion. Um. available stock like uh, with no programming required if you just want to like mess around obviously you can mess with the parameters here if you don't want to like write it from scratch so that's something to keep in mind uh, and all from that tiny little Arduino shield pretty impressive all right so overall I think this thing is really awesome I think it's really cool uh, the fact that it's open source open hardware can't get better and it's a guitar pedal I love guitar pedals um, this thing's just really cool to play around with, even if you just stick with the stock effects, like, it gives you a whole slew of sonic options, and I haven't delved too much into the code architecture yet, but I plan to play around a bit, and if I make any, like, notable effects, I'll definitely make a video to feature them or something like that. So, very cool board from a very cool company, check out their website, um, it's really awesome. Uh, but that's all for this video. If you liked it, toss me a thumbs up, leave any questions or comments down below. Um, find me on social media, links are in the description. And until next time, this has been Blitz City DIY.